come back you guys so this is going to be basically part two of me showing you guys how to make an aluminum excursion the 20 by 40 so that means it's 20 millimeters on the i guess you could say it's the x-axis now because we're looking at the video but um and then it's 40 on the y so that means 20 millimeters from left and right and 40 millimeters front to back so i designed these um files it's on my first video that you can get it from thingiverse so i have a drill master router here and it has a 3d printed attachment to help with a v bit that i have um attached as my router bit and it's to make these flat pieces that you can see here that flatness is going to turn into a v just like this one over here so it gets um a v shape so that way the wheels can actually glide in it so i was just testing out this one that i have here so i have two v wheels right here this one has the little en engravement on the bottom but as you can see, I'm going to just let it slide. It'll go that way. You can see that it's rolling just fine. Now go backwards. Let me just hold it. Okay, right there. Go backwards. So it moves just fine. And then this is the regular original um, V-Wheel. So I'm going to put it on there so you guys can see it roll just fine i just have to move it a little bit there we go and it's rolling right down the lane and then i'm going backwards so it does work so this is the router attachment version 3 i believe that i 3d printed on my ender 3 a, a few months ago but it does seem to be working for this one that i just got done setting up so all i got to do is just move it up and down glide it on the rail it attaches on the inside groove right over here on the inside and then it puts the v bit right inside the center here and then it guides all the way down so that's why this one looks accurate basically so i got these other few on um, pieces here that i'm going to be doing so i'm going to get that set up and then I'll try to make them into this type of V um, slot for the wheels. And the reason why I'm doing any of this is because I have a lot of these 20 by 40 aluminum excursions. And I want to make my own 3D printer. I'm building one basically from scratch using my Ender 3 3D printer for the parts to attach the aluminum excursions together. And for the hot end pretty much everything just like i showed on my first video um, about me building a big 3d printer i have built and designed a um, threaded rod t-nut attachment so that way this can actually attach to the center on here as you can see it mounts to the um, inner groove of the 20 by 40s using some t-nuts that you see there with some m4 bolts so that i have already designed i got two of these already 3d printed and then i got the also my v wheel x screw x carriage basically for the hot end and this is a 12 volt hot end i believe and it has a 12 volt cooling fan to cool down the um the um heating black block basically to keep the temperature accurate but anyway um so i'm going to go ahead and sh start on these i'm probably gonna start on that silver one that just fell over and then you'll i'll i'm gonna pause the video while i do that because i don't have anybody holding the camera and i need two hands to hold everything but um i'm going to do that one next and then I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll start on one of these bl black ones that I have here. So just give me a second, and I'll show you. Alright guys, so 
I got myself somebody to hold the camera. So now I'm going to show you. I had to bring the V bit down a little bit just to make sure it was gonna make that groove really nice. And you guys can see it for yourself. It fits right inside the slot. And it'll be able to move just freely. So I turned that T slot into a V slot now. So now I'm going to show you on the black um, excursion that I had. So I'm going to leave that off and move this aside. So I had this black one. It did have some plastic attached to it that I had to scrape off. But it's nice and clean. It's never been used or, or messed with. So this will be the first time of it being shaved down. So now I'm going to put it, you can see that it actually lines up just right. So there's a groove right here in the center. So that way it can actually go into this slot right here. And then this back piece, the longer one, goes into the 20 by 20 part of it, or the 20 millimeter groove. So the 20 by 40 is on the other side. And this is all on my Thingiverse page. And it's in the, if you need the link, it's in the first video. You could click on it and it'll be, you'll be able to download. So this part right here is the V3 version. So I'm going to place it inside the slot. There we go. And I made sure that the V bib is still the same, same height. So it sh should go on just fine. Just let me get it on there a little bit and then i had to put a new switch because the switch on the router had broke so i had to build i had to fix it and put a new switch on it so i'm gonna turn on and then you'll see me grow go down the groove and you're gonna see this flat piece it's gonna show a indent it's gonna be the v for the v wheels over here so i'm gonna turn it on and i'm gonna go down the slot a little bit here but I got to flip this over so that way you can actually get the other side so the bottom part looks more indent but I got to flip this around so let me just do that real quick I'm gonna turn this this way and should go on there just fine it shouldn't really have any issues whenever you're doing this just gotta make sure i see it there we go so It could be a little, there we go, a little difficult, but once it gets on there, it's on there good. I'm just trying to make sure that both guides are in the right spot. There we go. So now it's on there. So now I'm going to do it one more time to show you guys.
Okay, so it's got the other side already down a little bit, but I'm gonna have to flip it over just to make sure both sides get everything. So if you start seeing that one side is done and the other one isn't, then you would have to flip it around, flip your router around until it looks like this. So you want to make sure that it looks like a V so that way the wheels can go in there nice and smooth. So once that's done, then you'll be finished and then you could put your um, X carriage with the V wheels on it and then you'll be able to make your own 3D printer basically. You will just need the X carriage with probably some GT2 pulleys like this belt over here. So you're going to need a belt and then the um, pulleys and the um, gear, the gearing. So other than that, um, I hope you guys are liking the video. Please like, share, subscribe. And let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. And if you want to see me building this 3D printer, let me know so that way I can show you guys how to do it yourself. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.